your brain controls everything that your body does. And your brain uses the nervous system to do this. And I'm talking about everything. Your heartbeat, digestion, moving your arms, breathing, everything is controlled by the one thing on top of your head, the brain. And it is inside of your head. And your head weighs as much as a bowling ball. Now your bowling ball head sits on top of your spinal cord column and inside of your spinal column is your spinal cord which branches nerves off to every part of your body right and so at some point your head has to connect to the spine now at the top of the spine is a bone called the atlas and the atlas actually controls the alignment of the entire spine like a chain like you turn it it'll bind this way if you twist it, it'll bind this way. It controls it just like that. And right in that point is when your brain collects together and then becomes the brain stem, this thick bundle of nerves that then branch off to your whole body, leave your head, and go into the spinal column through this little teeny opening like that big sitting on top of another bone that controls all the rest of them. And what your body does is when it gets when the atlas gets misaligned and it twists up, your body has to bind up however it has to to balance your head on top of it. A 12 pound bowling ball being pulled down by gravity or jumping or anything is now pushing down on your spine. Okay, And it has to continue to maintain the brain's ability to keep your heart beating to keep your food being digestion and for it to process oxygen and to pump blood throughout your body all of those things it has to decide your body has built-in mechanisms that cause it to protect the most vital functions at the sacrifice of what it considers to be at that time the least neat necessary functions which could be all kinds of different things it can be whether or not you can control your hands. It can be whether or not you can sense pain. I mean, if water runs in your hand and there's no pain, should be at all, but yet it just stings and it hurts and it throbs, that's not right. And it could be happening because down here, as that communication comes all the way and hits your spine, it then is bound up and that nerve is not connecting to it correctly. And so it sends back this, it malfunctions. I mean, that's the bottom line. So if you have things like Parkinson's or MS or fibromyalgia or epilepsy or Tourette's or any of those, I mean, any of those symptoms can be caused because your brain has become cut off. Your wires are pinched. And so the deal is you've got to get that aligned. And once you get it aligned, your body can start to try to heal, but it's got muscles that have held up and bound up in this way. If you're a bodybuilder, you've built all these muscles around a spine that's crooked and twisted and trying to hold that up. So it's going to take time, but you've got to go and get it, and eventually it will stay. But the bottom line is many times, if you find the right doctors, the ones that really know how to do this upper cervical correction and balance that atlas, you can come into their office and then they have you on a scale and you just stand there and your weight will be completely to one side. When you leave, or one leg will be higher than the other like he does a leg check or she does a leg check. And when you leave, you are balanced, squared. Your legs are straight in one time maybe. I mean, it isn't every time, but I'm saying over time, doesn't it make sense? that if your body was completely balanced, every other function would continue, start to work better. If you take supplements, if you work out, you do yoga, you do breathing, you do meditation, whatever you do, your body is going to be communicating with itself on its highest level possible. And the crazy thing for me is, is that nobody knows about this. And like, you know, that's what I say is I read this article in Scientific American about chronic pain where they're talking about targeting the neurons that seem to be misfiring at that point where it enters the spine. I mean, how more obvious can it be that there might be something getting pinched off there and if they know that that top bone can align it why doesn't everybody know i don't know but that's what i'm trying to tell you about today so you need to check this out it is real and there are people getting better can't prove it i mean for sure there's clinical trials they there was one that was on cbs that was like high blood pressure got lowered better than two meds for people just getting upper cervical correction, the atlas aligned, that's it. 
You gotta check it out somewhere. Find it.